Alrighty guys, I apologize for not making a video recently. I've actually been a little bit sick lately and I think I'm over it now. I I don't know if it was COVID or not because I know someone's going to be like, oh my gosh, COVID, but yeah, uh, we're good now. But just a little update to the Steam Deck situation. Uh, my Steam Deck was sent in, for those of you who don't know, for repairs, okay? There was a dead pixel on the screen. I actually didn't notice it for the first few hours of using the Steam Deck. And then I would say, I don't know, maybe four or five hours in, um, I was playing Left 4 Dead 2, I believe, or maybe it was Overwatch. I can't remember which one, but I actually noticed a dead pixel on the screen and I freaked out, obviously. I was like, oh my gosh, like, what the fuck? Um, I did one of those unstuck pixel videos that didn't fix the issue that I was having. Obviously, the one stuck or dead pixel. It was green, and some people were saying that green means that it's a stuck pixel. Other people were saying, no, there's dead pixels that can be green, black, or even red or white. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if it was a stuck one or a dead one or what. But all I know is that uh, there was definitely something wrong with one of the pixels. Now, a lot of people were saying not to send your Steam Deck in for dead pixels because number one, most warranties for screens have to have at least like three to five dead pixels for them to actually do anything, but Valve has been either replacing or repairing Steam Decks that do have dead pixels. And sure enough, I sent mine in, they assured me that it would be repaired, and they actually ended up sending me a replacement. Now, it just shipped out from uh, the infamous uh, Carol Stream, Illinois, I believe it is. I know that I'll... <laughs> You guys have seen that before if you've bought a Steam Deck, um, or maybe you got a replacement from getting your old Steam Deck repaired if you had to RMA it. Uh, but yeah, it's it just shipped out from Carol Stream, so I did get a 512 gig replacement model. Now, it's not actually here, it's showing up soon. Uh, but I am extremely excited, and I just wanted anybody that is watching this video to know that, yes, even if they do tell you, like, I personally didn't want to sway them one way or the other or try to sway them uh, as far as, like, sending me a replacement or repairing mine. Obviously, I wanted mine uh, repaired, like, either way, like, obviously, I'd rather have it repaired and have a Steam Deck without a, uh, you know, dead pixel on it, but I was hoping for a replacement unit, and sure enough, I mean, even though when I originally shipped it, they told me that it would be being repaired, they, for some reason, it said they couldn't complete the rep the repairs. I actually had a stroke when I saw the email, because they, they sent me this email. It was like, could not complete Steam Deck repairs, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what the fuck is it now? I'm gonna have one of these RMA nightmares, aren't I? Like, one of those stories that's fucking horrible about, like, I got my fucked up Steam Deck back, and it was even worse, but, uh, so I clicked the email, preparing for the worst, and sure enough... They actually just said, like, we were unable to complete the repairs, so we're sending you a replacement. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank God. So <laughs> I'm just glad that, you know, it got worked out in the end. And I hope if anybody that's watching this video has a similar issue with the Steam Deck, or, you know, maybe they sent theirs in for an RMA or whatever, um, I want you guys to know, like, you know, don't be worried. There's a lot of, like, fear-mongering that goes on on Reddit and stuff. People saying, like, don't send your Steam Deck in around Christmas. You won't get it back for weeks. They're going to be backed up. And I sent mine in literally, like, one or two days after Christmas, like, on the 27th or something. And uh, it, it you know, shipped and got to the repair center in Utah. And just, like, you know, two days ago or a day ago now, they told me they were going to ship the replacement and it shipped out today. So <laughs> it's not worth uh, having a product you're not going to be happy with that has like issues instead of just getting it repaired, okay? Even if it does take a week or two or whatever, I think that it's worth it personally because the Steam Deck is obviously going to last a lot longer than that. You're going to have it for years. You're probably going to be playing it a lot, especially in the first months that you have it. So I recommend if you have an issue with it, send it in, get it fixed, get a new one back. I hope my replacement doesn't have any issues because I've heard that being a problem too, but I don't think it will. I think it would be pretty unreasonable to think that I would get two bad ones in a row. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and favorite. I will do another update video when I get the Steam Deck replacement and I will let you guys know if it has any issues or any concerns or anything like that. Just so you guys know what the average consumer is going to experience when they purchase a Steam Deck. 
Obviously, I don't have a like notable enough subscriber count or anything like that to get any sort of any sort of um, special treatment from Valve. So I think it's kind of important for people to document this kind of stuff and be like, hey, like Valve did a good thing here. You know, they replaced it, sent me a new Steam Deck, etc. Whatever. Um, I just think it's important to note when companies are doing the right thing. And so far, Valve is standing behind their product 100%. Anyways, guys, we will see you next video, and peace the damn hell out.